Well, hey folks, glad you could join me here today on Pioneer Farm. You can see I cut up our big log, so that's ready to be made into firewood. But today, the big, uh, the big thing is they're going to deliver our chickens. I was waiting for the cows, and I guess because I uh, called them and asked them to put it off a little bit, we ended up missing the delivery truck basically they had to send it out of town with a load so may not be back for a day or two so we're gonna have to put a bit of a bit of a hold on getting the cows but what we are gonna do today is get some chickens at least get that portion started I think we've got pretty much everything in place for the cows now. We do have to pick up the grass that we did, but other than that, our next concern is here. Oh, other issues. The, uh, that lovely old Fiat, yeah, it turns out did have a bad transmission. It finally, uh, finally shut down on me about halfway back from the shop. So, would not come out of first gear. Like, I mean, wouldn't go into neutral, nothing. The only way I could stop was to turn the engine off. <laughs> so, not good. But, uh, I guess a new transmission for it is pretty much the replacement cost of what I paid for it. So, they gave me a good deal on this thing instead. I'm not the biggest fan of the deer, but... It, uh, it fits all the parameters, got a good set of narrow tires on her, pretty decent horsepower, running about, I believe, 190, something like that. So yeah, she's got the grunt, and uh, as a bonus, we got a loader attachment thrown in, so I had to buy the, the loader, but they put the attachment in for free. So we've got a, a second loader here. But, oh... There we are. So I do hope everybody's doing well. That's uh, rather pleasant day here on the farm for 1st of September. All right, let's uh, let's complete that order. All right, we will indeed. Uh, oh. uh, apparently we're only all able to order them in lots of 60. Okay. ourselves a couple of roosters. Yeah, I don't think we want 60. Two will probably do us, eh? Um, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Bok, 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 bok. All right. There we go. Well, a few of them have come out. A bunch still inside. Good stuff. All right, what we need to do... I have been and picked up food for them, hence the uh, fancy dancy bag holder. Uh, 
Well, that's only going to give me one. There we go. No, oh, I think I still only got one, didn't I? Oh no, we got them both. Um. <laughs> oh, why? Hmm. This is certainly one of the weirder things I've seen here. I mean, they are emptying in there. That's oh, just strange. Okay, I'm at a loss here as to what the heck is going on. I think maybe... See, these are specialized bags. They're supposed to be lighter to lift. And I wonder if that's the problem. I think we'll go back to the regular ones from this point out. I might end up having the same problem with the, uh, the big TMR bags we ordered. Hmm. Apparently it's the material they pack them in, I guess. It's more like a balloon than a bag. Disappointing. All right, let's uh, tuck the rest of these in here. I mean, I've been assured it's a good, high-quality feed. Just can't say I think much of that new packaging. It doesn't work with the bag holders. And just because we can lift them doesn't mean we should have to, you know? There we go. Yeah, I get a feeling we're going to run into the same one over there. What is the time? Perfect. Perfect timing.
we get a fairly full complement of fork forklift items now. We got uh, hopefully everything we need. All right, let's go and see about uh, getting those cattle in. Now I also. I want to see if I can nudge this thing a little bit, a little bit further off the road. Okay, that's clear of the logs. Good stuff. we won't be turning it. Well, that's planted. That is planted, let me tell you. There we go. We can only straighten it out so we're not as likely to slam into the rear end coming up the road. All right, let's go see what's going on. the full complement. So, let's get some stuff in here. Blow some straw in. It'll take more than that. There we go. at our tablet and see how they're doing. Alright, that's almost going to fill it anyway. It's not going to take another one at any rate. Good stuff. Very, very nice. Start. Oh. oh, I don't have my loader. Yeah, it's okay. Let's just for the moment. Let's park this here. Okay, these I believe might actually be the proper ones. Let's go see.
might just be. See about getting some TMR in there. Because they don't think they want to eat their bedding. Ah, oh, you never know. But that'd be my guess. Oh, quite a pack of deer in there this morning, eh? But, huh. Oh, it's alright. Don't go. Yeah, immediately. First thing you do is run across the road. I don't know. They got some kind of freaking suicide pact going on, those things. Starting to wonder. get one but yeah, it's a start I'm not sure where the uh... there we go I swear that cow was running in slow motion so is there no Like, that's it? That's what they get is a barn? Hmm. No access to the grass or the outside. I don't like that. I don't at all. Um. Hmm. I think I might get them to come back and pick those cows up. And. Even though. We did, uh... Did get the, uh, the barn as part of the deal on the farm. I don't think I want to use it. This doesn't want to happen. I thought this double thing would be a good idea, but I'm starting to uh, starting to think not.
Yeah, it seems no matter what, I can only pick up one bag anyway. So, that's alright. They weren't, uh, there wasn't any difference in price, which I thought was a little odd. Kind of explains it though, doesn't it? There's no difference in function. <laughs> it just looks fancier. Oh, look at that. We got two that time. By hooking one of them halfway up the arm. <laughs> but I guess you do what you gotta do. Doesn't want to let go of it, does it? There we go. What a mess. What a mess. Wasted a bag of TMR and all that straw, but what can you do? What can you do? We should move these out of the way. If things were actually working. Don't you be tempted, magic deer. No, indeed. Hmm. <laughs> I've got the, uh, bale spike there. Sells a decent cow farm. It's 
gonna be expensive. They didn't give us much for the remains of that one. Seven hundred and twenty-two thousand. Oh, with a feeding robot. Large cow barn, cow pasture. Hmm. All right. Well. Let's see what we've got here, shall we? Let's try that. Let's try that. That's better. And let's try this again. again. Alright.
this one in. Well, we certainly have financial setback, but that's okay. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have uh, happier, healthier cows in this thing. That other unit was built sometime back in the 50s or something, and I don't think there was much concern other than just getting as many cows in as you could and getting as much product out as you could. So, of course, we're a, a little more on the ethical farming side of things. Certainly not a poster child for it, but we'd like to... Uh, do a better job, you know? Like to do a better job. We're also pretty much at the end of the day here. I do believe that uh, we got about 35 minutes into this little video log, so we'll I do hope you guys enjoy your time here. Don't forget to come in this weekend. The, uh, the farm tours should be back on. So if you want to come out and uh, see it all live and in person. We'll even have uh, cows and chickens for you to pet now. So, do hope everybody enjoyed their time here. Ooh. And uh, till next time. Take care of each other, folks, and have yourselves a great day.